Hi, this is Tim Camp for Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really flexible baseline house patch in Massive. If you don't have Massive already, simply Google NI Massive, and the first thing will take you to a page where you can download the demo version. A lot of baseline house bass sounds are created by generating a harmonically rich waveform and running it through a low pass filter that's modulated by an envelope. The attack and decay times the envelope control how long it takes the envelope to open and close and it's the rhythmic interplay between this opening and closing movement of the bass and the beat that gives the bassline house tracks their groove. By creating your own patches with Massive rather than relying on presets or samples you can get a greater degree of control over the feel of your tracks and get a more individual sound too. Let's start by opening Massive. Uh, click File and select New Sound to initialize the patch. First we'll set up the filter movement. Set filter 1's type to low pass 4 and drag the modulation handle from the first modulation source onto the first modulation target slot in the filter 1 panel. This tells Massive we want the envelope to control the filter cutoff frequency. Drag up on the slot and you'll increase the modulation amount, indicated by the blue line that encircles the knob. At first you'll just get a unidirectional movement where the filter closes as the sound plays. However, if you open the first modulation source panel and turn up the attack time, you'll hear we get a bi-directional movement. First the filter opens, then it closes. Click the voicing tab and turn up the number of unisono voices to three. We can detune and spread these voices over the stereo panorama to get a wider sound with more harmonic interest. To detune the unison voices, activate the pitch cutoff button and turn the fader up slightly. To spread the voices, activate the pan position button. Now we've got a suitable oscillator and filter combination, we can tweak the sound to get the exact feel we're after, specifically the oscillator one wavetable position, the filter cutoff, the filter cutoff modulation amount, the envelope attack time, and the envelope decay time. You can switch between regular and legato glide playing styles by selecting the mono rotate or monophon voicing modes respectively. So we've got a harmonically rich waveform, in this case the default sawtooth sound provided by oscillator 1 with a low pass filter opening and closing over it, but it still doesn't sound much like bassline house. What needs remedying is the choice of oscillator waveform. If you turn the wavetable position knob in the oscillator 1 panel down, we get a square rather than a sawtooth tone, which is a move in the right direction, but it sounds more like speed garage rather than baseline house. If we select a more complex waveform, we get something a bit more contemporary sounding. Change oscillator 1's wavetable to carbon from the analog electric section instead. The carbon wavetable features a really broad range of gnarly timbres, and if you try playing the patch with the wavetable position offset to a few different values, you'll hear the difference this makes. Turn the knob all the way down to get a grimy timbre. You can use wavetables other than carbon to get even more timbres, and if you select a wavetable position that doesn't feature much weight in the low end, you can simply activate oscillator 2, set it to the sine tri wavetable from the basic section, and use the wavetable position knob and the amp level to dial in some low end weight.